Welcome, uh, South Africa. Welcome to Soccer Zone. It's going to be a fantastic show for you. What a week of football that there has been. The NFT playoffs, the biggest matches at the end of the season. Who will make their way to the APSA Premiership next season? Will it be Stellenbosch? Will it be Barocca FC? Or will it be Black Leopards? We'll look at what happened in the two draws that have taken place so far. We'll also take you to the CAF Champions League action. And that CAF Champions League action was tremendous in the sense that Sundowns lost in that game at home against Esperance. There were some key moments there that caused that. For instance, uh, why was that defense not able to adjust for the fact that Ntete was off the field when that first goal took place? If you don't know what I'm talking about, stay with us as we highlight that for you. We'll take you to the Under-20 uh, World Cup and what is going on there and a whole lot more. So, the topic though today is a little bit of a throw forward because Bafana Bafana in action this weekend against Nigeria. The statistics for that match are simple. We played them 12 times, we've lost seven games, we We've drawn four and only one win in a friendly. So the question is, how can Bafana's Baxter overcome Nigeria on Saturday? And what are your answers? Thomas Pule saying, they must defend their normal game, dominate the game and score the first and defend well. The hashtag is uh, hashtag Bafana Siabangena. Siabangena, please let's ingena against Nigeria on the weekend. It's an AFCON qualifier. And then I've got Avile who goes on and says, we can only defeat Nigeria if we play continuously continuous attacking and converting our goals and scoring chances there. Dr. Mnandi, there, I like, uh, I like what Avile has to say. Yeah. He says attack, and you see that word, that's a big word, continuous attacking. That's what he wants to see. What do you think? What does Baxter's team need to do to beat Nigeria? Hashtag Bafana. Siabangen. Thank you, Tom London. But Leo won winning a Kulum, I won't ring out today. Okay, Leo, that one win was in a Mandela Cup friendly. Nya, nah. You know, everybody was enjoying themselves. Why are you feeling sensitive about it? Ring. Why were you sensitive? Well, okay, it's okay. Okay. Bring him down. in. Cash. Now we're positive. We're positive. Go friendly. We're positive. Aye. Okay, you were there. Well done. Congratulations. You were part of that Thank one you. win. What about this one, though? This is a qualifier. Okay, let, let's establish this, Thomas, first thing. I mean, we are in a unique position. Get this, Kimanji. Because if you look, Africa, Manji, Ikala, Ustatela, Cop 2. South Africa is doing well now. Mm -hmm. Sundowns is coming on top. Super Sport is doing well. Platinum Stars have, have done it. But also, you're looking at our players, about Zoom and Erasmus, they're doing well. Or counting other they've been doing well. Mm. But what is key now, going forward into this game, I think for me now with a new coach, first things first, players need to, to earn it trust them as South Africans. Secondly, they need to impress the coach so that they keep their places. To, uh, defensively, if you look at it, we need to be hyper-organized and disciplined. So for Tys Kia? La, la, la. You, cannot, you cannot build in the Pezu. For Kia, so your Kia, strategy for the game is Kia. Kia. Yeah, you build your team. Kia, man, I guess. Snake Kia. You put it in the move. Octo to elect as a captain, I think motivated now to do well. Uh. Then because we've never shot for when it comes to goalkeeping. Middle uh. Petu Chalu Petu Femen. Lama small and yana. No, but I mean against Nigeria. Yabona yeah, Nigeria and Manga Ganani. Really high. Yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical strength. Yabona yeah, yeah, yeah. interfere by keeping goal in that center to destroy and pass. And then Pambili. Pambili umna do petu upete. But what would you play? Two strikers, one. Why are you playing? Why are guided by the team that you are playing against, and you are playing away in Nigeria. So, Kia Mapa Pivisita, you are going to strike a C1. But, Lalela, Utau, Ngoma, Manyama, the performance in PSL, say, I need a manager. I want a Dalang Bona, Dalang Sola, Dalang Bona. You're always telling me about Ushugela, you're always telling me about attacking yeah, football. Yeah. Today, you want to play one striker, and it's the big man to just head us. Yeah, but uh, I, 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 I don't know if you can play the No, but one strike and daughter. Very few. Yo, Dr. Nandi wants to just Kia in the game. Is he right? Is that the way to go and beat Nigeria? Really just sit back, make sure we keep things tight, and then maybe look for something with the subs in the second half? Give us uh, your uh, p opinion on that. Hashtag Bafana Siabangena. Now, the new stories that we've got for you. Well, here it is. Ayanda Potosi coming to uh, the side in Cape Town that really surprised everyone. Cape Town sitter signing the Bafana International, 
Will he make a difference? What will he do? He's got a point to prove. I'm coming from a fan of a setup. Mm. But trust me, for his Cape Town is a good signing. But Abandekas, they want to see their but real But he only battles. played eight games in Europe last season. My point exactly. So funny. Agas Boni is doing go for Hey, we'll see, Ayanda. Then, here, Kevin Johnson has been told. He contract Yaki Pelang with June at the end of June. As a Grunyui. And then the reason, Bati, they want to take the club to another level. Yeah. That's what officials are saying, clearly saying that Gavin, Kevin Johnson hasn't taken the club to the level they want. For, for me, I show you respect because one, last day they came fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, Bagu Confed already, what level are you talking about? Remember, they, they've lost so many players at the end of the season last season. So, mm -hmm. what are they talking about? Maybe Kevin Johnson. Well, this season they didn't make it in the top eight. So yeah, maybe. But get him taking him taking quality. Wow, if you look ring, I'm taking the quality. You can't just say I'm getting renew contract. You must come up and play with okay, daughter, because of these reasons. Rumors, Amal, or maybe even Roger Desar to take over there. Let's see what happens there. This is the saddest news in football, and it is absolutely devastating. He's one of the great players of modern times, Cote d'Ivoirian international, uh, Czech Tiote. I mean, who can forget him? 55 caps for Cote d'Ivoire. Seven years uh, that he played in the English EPL. They paid 60 million rand to yeah. bring him to the club. World Cup, holding midfielder, Dr. Mnandi. I am broken inside nah, at how good a player we have lost. What happened? Uh, for, for me, for me, nah, because he will look and obviously in training. Just collapsed. It, it just collapsed. So you know these things, very sense quality skin. But for me, now what worries me? He played for my team in Newcastle. Uh. And you know, in football, my loser, Wanda so hey, Only 30 years of age. Trust me. I mean, AFCON winner, we all saw him do it. He was part of that uh, Ivory Coast team that won the AFCON in 2015. A lot of you will remember Czech Teote scoring here in South Africa during the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations against Nigeria in a 1-1 draw. And you will remember what he did for Newcastle United. You can't forget it. What a holding midfielder, what a great player, and what a sad day that he is now lost to football, collapsing a training in China. Czech Teote, he will be missed in football. I'll never forget him. What a great man. But now, moving on to our Mnandi moment of the week. Who will it be today? Dr. Mnandi, there's so much football taking place. We had options for Mnandi moment of the week. You could have gone to Zambia's performances against uh, the team Germany at uh, the uh, Under-20 World Cup. You didn't go there. You could have chosen from CAF Confederations Cup, CAF Champions League. Where did you eventually decide your Mnandi moment of the week was? I'm not remote to play my playoffs, man. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have Then what did you see? I'm going to tell you about the first Baroka. I thought it was going to rule. Quality goal. Uh -huh. What speaks to in, in the important goal also is significant goal and what it means to Stellenbosch because it gives them confidence. I mean, what I think the technique used in this in, in this goal and obviously in a setting up young young. Hey, that setup. Man. Ah, la, la, la. They know look how at to that. The long weekend. Wow. Mami Young. Look at that header. Cushion header. Yeah. Voli. Tata. Was good to target to go. That's very key. No chance. Uh, obviously, ring in the Oscar, ah, but it's ah, not about that. Oscar ring, <laughs> Oscar ring. That's a good finish. That's not an Oscar ring problem. Yeah. That is a great moment, and you are giving it officially this week. Yeah, Nandi delicious. Nandi moment of the week. La la la, yeah. What a good goal there. Mami Niang, what a force in that team. But uh, we'll uh, move on now and take you on to the next moments that we've got to talk about, uh, and that is uh, what's going on as far as Smirnov Raja Bolo is concerned. Let's have a look. We're looking forward to the fourth round of Smirnov Raja Bola Provincial League matches, which will be taking place on Saturday, 10 June in Durban at Section E Sports Fields. The top teams are all vying to be crowned Raja Bola champions, and the finals in Gauteng will be on the 1st of July. The grand prize for the winning team, are you listening, is 150,000 Rand, while the runners-up will receive 50,000 Rand. Come support your team, try your luck with the skills challenges, have the chance to meet our Smirnov Raja Bola kings, Smusisos 
Zuma, Benedict Villadazi, Stanton, Fredericks, Tabongo Meni, and Pollen Trompis Ndanya. And enjoy the entertainment from the DJs. All the gates open at 12 p.m. Entrance is absolutely free because with Smirnoff, everyone's invited. Remember to purchase uh, any bottle of Smirnoff, 18, 18, 750 mils, and stand a chance to win your share of two and a half million rand in instant prizes and disky gear for your favorite uh, Smirnoff Rachapolo team. How do you enter? Buy the bottle of Smirnoff 1818, unscrew the cap and find the code on the bottle. Dial star 120 star 1083 hash. Register and enter the code. Here's a clip of the action that went down at the second round of provincial matches in Bloemfontein and it was a thrilling encounter. Have a look at this. Enjoy. That's how it was in Bloemfontein. That's how it's going to be in Durban. You need to make sure you're there. The Smirnoff 1818 Clubhouse. Uh, you can follow it on Facebook and on Twitter pages and uh, by signing up on our Moby site, uh, 1818clubhouse.moby. We're going to a break. After the break, we get into the action. We'll look at what happened in uh, the uh, Carling Black Label uh, Champion Cup. What have they got for you tonight? It's going to be interesting. Are you one of those selected to be the champion coach uh, to get to those finals? Find out who the first two are and how it is that you can become more involved stay with soccer zone hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Champion coaches, you entered. The selectors chose the best candidates. And today we look at the first two champion coach finalists who might make it to match day. Ladies and gents, here are 36-year-old Gauteng-based Kaiser Chiefs supporter Mantulani Apani, as well as 35-year-old Orlando Pirates fanatic Moses Muleme, who hails from the province of the Free State. Let's take a look. <laughs> Lina Laga ke kahisho Moses Moleme ke based in Lady Brand in the Free State. The sale kinsi ke rata Orlando Pirates kinsi ke taki khola. Obanu kola ping family yote khola ile ma Pirates. Kona le Pirates mo kona personally ke islo se se tonna mo kona it's like ke 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 ru ke ru chita mo di mo kasata. A chips le Pirates adi kopa na continente ya South Africa yote ya ma families and friends are divided when these two giants meet. For the whole 90 minutes. Kerata for for two because it go to ba le kare la kaiser chipsi mo upa mani sa le isasa batoko tene lang ba pasa poma kola poma kola a pasa a bitsa di tru pasa dorar score le go. I have a great knowledge about soccer and I have my own unique strategy to make my team to win. Overall, I am about unifying the team. So experience is an opportunity to make a stadium to make a Soweto Dabi at Hameka, to make a supporter of the football team. I'm enjoying it. I'm happy to be on TV because of Carlin Black Label, the Leone Orlando Pirates. This experience will change my life forever. Casa Chiefs represent love and peace. The Cos de la Roca. It's a team that holds a lot of trophies in the country, not because they were just given the opportunity, but they possessed, they had that character to collect all the trophies that were available. One of the greatest moments of football in the country. The country comes to a standstill. Fundisi, no mamu fundisi, a Bible is set aside. Just a Kaiser Chiefs fanatic. I don't want to lose against Pirates. 
My favorite formation has always been 352. It works wonders for me. The reason is uh, 352 uh, formation. You can easily dominate the middle of the park. Easily. Because you are sitting with the two, you can have two defensive midfielders. With one are taken right in front of them and with the two sides midfielder, left and uh, the right hand side. I'm expecting the two the goals coming from, from, from uh, uh, Bennett Parker, obviously complemented by Overpa Paez. There's only one thing that I've realized that the players don't have and they need, which is motivation. Motivation is what, as a coach, I have to bring. It's what I have to bring as a coach to the team. Calling Black Label, what a game changer. You, you heard our voices. You heard our voices and you gave us the opportunity. An ordinary supporter been given the opportunity to experience the moment and coach the team in front of 90,000 capacity. There you got them. The first two who have the opportunity to be there on match day. Keep entering and you could be one of them. And don't forget that you can still make your coaching dreams a reality. The competition carries on on radio, so you can make sure you tune in to your favorite SABC radio station and stand a chance to be the champion coach. Welcome back, Nedbank Cup Final, you know it, it's going to be in Durban, it's the 10th year of Nedbank being involved in the tournament and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Toby Barton has joined me here in the studio and it's a good time to have this conversation about what does the tournament mean to Nedbank? Why have you guys stuck around for 10 solid years of uh, Nedbank Cup action? Good evening Thomas to you and all the viewers at home, you know like you've mentioned the 10th year of the Netbank Cup, you know we've started this journey to position our Netbank brand as the bank for all so and not just the elite few and you know soccer and the Netbank Cup has really uh, you know afforded us that, that opportunity to do exactly that you mm. know so it's a great opportunity for us to say thank you to all of those fans and in particular those fans who have opted in to, to bank with Netbank uh, and in doing so we've bought 10,000 tickets from the PSL which we've offered to our Netbank clients a 10 rand a ticket for the Netbank Cup final as wow. one example uh, those sold out in a matter of hours and we've been able since to secure another 4,000 which we're releasing tomorrow So, you know for those soccer fans who haven't bought their tickets yet You know now would be a good time to do so now Nedbank is a bank famous for the fact that they've got an app that you can do your banking on mm -hmm. Now there's an app for the Nedbank Cup as well. It's about time. Don't you don't you think I mean for example I mean just to be first in digital is important for us, you know, and really to have fan engagement in mind so those fans who would like to you know engage with us and and in goals and stand a chance of winning VIP experiences mm. for the final. Really like to encourage them to download the Netbank Cup Kiona app. It is available in the Google Play Store and in the Apple I Store. So yeah, you know, just have a look at it, and uh, you know, we look forward to to seeing all the soccer fans there, and uh, you know, giving away some really nice prizes leading up to the final. And it's really good app. Make sure you get the app so you can get the latest and even tickets to the game. Wow, that's amazing. Durban is where the venue will be, and fans will be there. We know Durban is notorious or famous or whatever you want to call it for being full house all the time. But what if I go there and I'm a fan? What are you going to give me that's extra that I can enjoy? So just to recap, Thomas, uh, it's Saturday the 24th of June at the Moses Mabita st uh, Stadium in Durban. And uh, the kickoff for the first time will be at night. Normally the Net Bank Cup final is at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Mm. This year it will be quarter past eight. And the very reason is we wanted to uh, you know, implement a full day of activities for all the fans. So gates will open at 12. There'll be a pre-party, a bash at six, from six to seven yeah. at night in the stadium. We bash, a big, <laughs> <laughs> we're building a big stage. Uh, you know, for all the fans, you know, for all the entertainers. There'll also be an opening ceremony, 15 minutes prior to kickoff, coupled with halftime entertainment. It is going to be the biggest, the best final uh, that we've ever had for the Net Bank Cup. So okay, so Toby, the tickets, mm -hmm. how are they going? Can I get? Is it sold out? What's the story? Thomas, the tickets are moving fast. We've already sold up to 70%, 70% of Netbank Cup final tickets. Uh, I, I, we expect that within the next couple of days that it will be completely sold out. 
Uh, you can get tickets via Ticket Pro. Uh, like I said, it's available at 60 Rand for adults. Mm. Children under the ages of 12 can get it for 15 Rand. But like I said earlier, if you are a NetBank client, we are releasing 4,000 tickets at only 10 Rand a ticket. Uh, in so line how do with I prove that? What do I do? So all you need to do is, is show your NetBank card, go to the nearest Ticket Pro outlet, and, and say, I want so the 10 Rand ticket. You say you're a NetBank card holder, and you want a 10 Rand ticket, and yeah. so they'll be able to assist you by doing that. What so. a saving. There you go. Only 4,000 of the tickets are available, so you need to hurry up and get them. The final thing, though, when we talk about NetBank, because the final is amazing. It's going to be live here on SABC Sport. There's that other element that NetBank always brings. The Guiana team search is something very close to my heart because it brings that guy who didn't get an opportunity to play at the top level, gives him that gap. Yeah, exactly. You know, Thomas, so it's the way... You know, we can once again, you know, use not just the NetBank Cup sponsorship, but to give back to the development of football, you know. So the nature of the Cup is, as we know, it's amateurs versus professional teams. But we've taken it a step further by selecting this team of amateur football players that are able to get trained as uh, professionals. The final tryout is happening this week, Saturday, at the Rand Stadium in Johannesburg. And as we know, the group of 48 players will be trained as professionals and come face to face against this year's NetBank Cup champions. Uh, our Kiona Team TV series is also starting on Sunday, the 18th of June. The new time slot will be half past five mm. uh, on Sunday afternoons here on SABC One. So definitely something to look out for. The final Supersport United, Orlando Pirates, a repeat of last year's final. The Guiana team search comes to a head at the Rand Stadium over the weekend. The players there will be fighting to be in that team. It is going to be huge in terms of what's going on as far as uh, the uh, Ned Bank uh, Cup is concerned. Thank you, Toby, for being with us tonight. Fascinating the insights you brought tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks again for having me. Ah, no, it's always a pleasure. <sighs> yes. That's how they went out there, extra time. They inflicted that pain on Germany, though, when they knocked them out in extra time in that thrilling encounter 4-3 before this one. So, Africa Pumile, Dr. Mnendi. I just passed on my second game, man. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that. Two South Americans, uh, two European t uh, nations left. <laughs> we'll have to have a discussion about what that means as far as uh, the bigger picture for African football is concerned because, yeah, Zambia did well, yeah. but uh, they uh, knocked out uh, at the quarterfinal stage and the other nations knocked out even earlier than that from the African continent. Uh, APSA's Ready to Work program allows you to get ready for the work environment. Don't miss out on the opportunity to upskill yourself and change your life. Register for the free online program at readytowork.co.za. Ready, set, go. It's time to prosper. We'll be back after the break with your Moonish. Welcome back. It's Mumish time. Now, what we're going to do here is a young player, and his first season in the APSA Premiership saw him, well, get three red cards in the season. He spent most of his time sitting on the bench, which is why it's Paman Lamlilo. Ah, we are Mumishing you today. Take a look. Three red cards in his first season in the Premiership. Uh, that's why it's a little bit of a mumish to him. This is what's coming up uh, with the Under-20 World Cup. Uh, we'll show you some more of those fixtures when it comes to the semi-final stages. So make sure you tune in for those. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see who walks away with it. Uh, the uh, playoff uh, game uh, between Barocca and Stellenbosch will be key, key, key. Barocca at home, they, they haven't been a good home side. Will they be able to change that in this game? Uh, and uh, then the AB, ABC Mozipe League.
League final is on Sunday at 2.30. So we'll have a look at that game as well. So that's what's uh, uh, going on as far as what's coming up with football right here on SABC Sport. Thank you to uh, Dr. Mnandi. And we've also got the big game coming up with Nigeria and Bafana on Saturday. So make sure you don't miss that. That's at 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, what will Bafana Bafana be able to do? Remember, our hashtag is hashtag Bafana Siabangena. Good night from me.